Hey, it's Josh Reimer, and I'm here with my boyfriend, Heath, in New York, New York, which is the most populous city in the United States of America. And we're gonna bring you along with us on our last day here. So we finished off our trip by staying at The Langham, which is a luxury hotel and skyscraper in Midtown on Fifth Avenue. So about a five minute walk from the Empire State Building. They have some of the largest hotel rooms in New York City, starting at 425 square feet and averaging about 750. We had this incredible terrace. There is a 24 hour fitness center, a luxury spa, a bar and a restaurant, which you'll see more of in a moment. But we started our day by going to the High Line, which is a public park built on an historic freight rail line. It's almost a mile and a half long, going from the meatpacking district all the way to the top of Chelsea. And it's owned by the city, but maintained by a nonprofit conservancy called Friends of the High Line. And you get some great views of the city along here. There's all kinds of plants and cool architecture to check out and lots of different sculptures. They really took something that was sort of an eyesore in the area and turned it into something beautiful. And then from there we went to check out a musical because of course that's what you do in New York. We went to see A Letter to Harvey Milk based on the award-winning short story of the same name. It's not necessarily about the man himself but more so about a straight retired butcher and a young lesbian teacher who have both been affected by his life. And there are 16 musical numbers in the play. I honestly found it to be so moving and I got to go up on stage afterwards, which was so cool. And then we headed out into the rain at this point to check out Times Square, which is of course the famous entertainment and business district that is one of the world's most visited tourist attractions, even when it's pouring rain. About 330,000 people pass through Times Square daily and it's known for its cool attractions, shops, restaurants and entertainment. So whether you want to see a show or you want to buy a souvenir and you want the typical I love New York or something odd, you can find it here. And then we finished off our day by going to I Fiori back at the Langham. This is a Michelin star Italian restaurant that is ranked among Zagat's best restaurants in New York City and for good reason because oh my gosh, it was so nice. The atmosphere, the food, I mean everything about it. It was clear why this was included in Esquire magazine's list of best new restaurants in America when it opened and it was just a delightful end to our day. And that was our last day in New York. Thanks for watching and I want to invite you to join me at America's premier summer camp for LGBT adults. It's an all-inclusive week of great fun and new friends. So go to campcamp.com and use discount code Josh Reimer to save $100 on the registration fee. Bye!